Hey guys, what's up? Littlefoo68 here, and uh, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I'm a doof in the last part of the video. I totally ended it off uh, before I made it to the save point, so that was silly, but you guys saw that, so no harm done. Um, yeah, we're here in Deep Jungle, and we have Tarzan with us, and he doesn't really speak English, and I lost Donald and Goofy, and I'm not really okay with this. And we're standing next to this awkward tree hole tunnel pit. Looks kind of ominous, but uh, you know, we're just we're just gonna jump into it, because that sounds like a good idea. What else do we have to do, right? And now we're surfing on a giant tree. And I'm pretty sure Tarzan just whacked a branch for no apparent reason. <laughs> Okay, um, when you're surfing on this tree, if you want to push forward on the joystick to, like, make yourself go a little faster, you can. You can jump to avoid these branches, or if you're me, you can avoid a branch and land smack dab in the middle of the other one. And, um, for right now, this is the extent of the tree surfing. There's more of it later, but that's all you can really do for right now. And then we just fall out of the trees randomly in the middle of this fabulous like bamboo thickety campsite thing. There's a trinity mark here, we'll remember that for later. So yeah, there's all kinds of scientific doodads and a random stove that leads to nowhere. Like, how does that even work? I don't even know. Hey look, a thing! Slide three. Alright. Well, since it's called slide three, I'm gonna go ahead and take a wild guess and say there's more than one of them. Because that would just be silly. And you can examine this, lab instruments, blah blah blah. Those little notes go by really fast. Cooking pot, find two recipe cards. Alright, I think we can do that. Here's another slide right here. Slide six, okay. At least six of these little buggers. Let's check this globe. Recipe for ether, ice, the ingredient. Okay, let's examine this pole here. Recipe card two, okay. Simple enough. Oh, alright, there's another If I can jump on it. Slide four! Yeah, totally getting these completely out of order. Ooh. This tea set? What's with the flat stuff? Oh, the flat stuff is like silverware. And I don't think it's even entirely flat, so that's excusable this time. But that's totally the tea set from Beauty and the Beast. That is totally Mrs. Potts and Chip and all of Chip's faceless, nameless brothers and sisters. And uh, Mrs. Potts is currently steaming, so she's got tea. I'm assuming that means there's somebody around here, somewhere. There's a recipe card in the clock. Who is putting these random recipe... Really? Research notes in the clothing hanging up on the clothesline. That makes total sense. Total sense. I'm just gonna beat this barrel up for no apparent reason. Yay! Health! That I didn't need. Uh, let's look at this like, phonograph thing. More research notes. Um, another slide in here. Slide number two. Let's see, I can jump back up here. Slide number one. And then I believe. Yep, here we go. Slide number five. So if I'm not mistaken, I think we just got all of the slides already, which is pretty easy. And let's see. Let's check out the stove. Required cards found, let's begin. Potion is in the pot, it's ready to be heated. Light it. Alright, well we're gonna whack the stove, because that, that seems like a good way to open it. Use fire on it, light the stove. Cooking ready, obtained high potion. Awesome, so we got a high potion out of that. I guess it used one of our potions and turned it into a high potion, but either way, it doesn't really matter, because high potions are better. Um, and if we examine this, we found the notes for this. And we are starting the experiment. The potion was put in. Putting in the ingredient, you ice it. Okay, so we're gonna use Blizzard. And it turned it into an ether. Awesome. 
Alrighty, so I think that's all we can do in this little area for now. So let's go ahead and check out this tent, which I was conveniently ignoring up until now. <laughs> So you're not related to Tarzan. Well, we are wearing clothing. Are you the gorillas? <laughs> Highly doubtful. Sora! Goofy! Donald! Bromance! <laughs> or not. A circus of clowns. Not much use for hunting gorillas. Mr. Clayton, we're studying them, not hunting them. This is research. Well, the more the merrier. Do make yourselves at home. Well, anyway, I'm staying. Huh? Sora, look what we found. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay then. What's that? A gummy block. It's the same stuff used to build our ship. So that means... The king could be here, so we've got to work together to look for him. For now. Fine, I'll let you tag along. For now. Aw, oh, aren't they cute when they fight? So much bromance. Alright, so now, since we have our full party back, um, we can only actually have three party members. So, either we get to keep Tarzan in our party and drop Donald or Goofy, or we can have Donald and Goofy and say, screw Tarzan, which normally, if I'm playing just for fun, that is what I would do, because I like keeping Donald and Goofy both in my party so they can get all the experience and stuff, but for the sake of this Let's Play, we're gonna keep Tarzan in, and since he's, like, Mr. Attack Power Physical Guy, um, we'll keep him in with Donald, because that seems kind of balanced, plus I kind of prefer Donald to Goofy. Which is silly, because Goofy's technically, like, stronger right now. But, whatever. And that's how I'm gonna do it. So we're just gonna stick with that. And there's a chest here. Let's see. Mithril Shard. Alright, that's cool. We'll use that later. Um, let's go ahead and talk to Jane. Apparently Tarzan was raised in the jungle by the gorillas. Communicating with him still isn't easy, but he's learning. So he was speaking in gorilla back there? Ah, oh, that's right. You're looking for your friends? He said Riku and Kairi are here, and one word I couldn't understand. Why don't we try this? We'll show Tarzan some slides and see if any of them match that word. What happened to the slides? They just were mysteriously scattered around outside for no apparent reason. But I happen to have them. Did you find the slides? They must be lying around the camp somewhere. Yeah, I got them. Oh. Examine the thingy. Okay, that, that's a castle. That's, that's not Riku and Kairi. Or anything that Tarzan would recognize, probably. What's wrong, Sora? What? Um, nothing. This place, it just looks so familiar. But how? I've never been off my island. That is strange indeed. Uh, that's a dude giving flowers to some chick. That's not Riku and Kairi. Uh, Riku and Kairi are not an old lady and a baby. Definitely not a gorilla. Or a boat. Or some dude's fencing. That was incredibly helpful. Well, Tazan? Where are my friends, Riku and Kairi? Hey, I thought... That leaves just one place. Young man, we've been in this jungle for some time now. But we have yet to encounter these friends of yours. I'd wager they're with the gorillas, but Tarzan refuses to take us to them. Really, Mr. Clayton? Tarzan wouldn't hide... Then take us there. Take us to the gorillas. Gorilla. He is so not amused. Tarzan, are you sure? 
Tarzan, go see Kerchak. Kerchak? He must be the leader. Perfect. I'll go along as an escort. After all, the jungle is a dangerous place. Okay, yeah, I think I'd feel safer with you not being around, dude. Alright, let's heal up real quick. Is there anything else in here to get? I don't think so. Okay, well there was that blue trinity mark out there. I would like to get that with, um... We need to have... Not gummy ship. We need to have, um, both Donald and... God damn it, that's not what I meant to do. Mer. Both Donald and Goofy have to be in our party in order for Trinity Marks to work. So we're going to go ahead and put them back in just for now. I promise I will bring Tarzan back out. Um, once I... Ah! Rude! Bad kitty. Bad kitty. Majorly rude. Alright, 15 experience points for whacking a kitty a few times. Is he gone? Alright, cool, cool. Okay, let's go ahead and get this. Whoopee! Treasure chest. What's in the box? What's in- Puppies! 34, 35, and 36. Okay, in the last video in the comments, um, Rated R Mario 21, I believe? Uh, mentioned that it would be very difficult for the owners of the puppies to name them all like unique individual things. Now I kind of disagree there because I feel like there are a bajillion names in the world you could totally come up with 101 you know unique names for some dogs. The hardest part would just be keeping them like straight figuring out which one is which because there's only I don't know aside from looking at name tags and that's a lot of collars and name tags that would get pretty pricey but um, you can't do anything with this telescope. I feel like you should be able to, like, do something with it. Examine it or something. That should have been one of the research notes or something. But anyway, um, so yeah, I feel like, I feel like they totally could have gotten away with names. So I feel like the puppies have been wronged and that they should have names. So I decided that puppies 13, 14, and 15 are, crap, what did I name them? I named them something ridiculous. Let's get Tarzan back in there. Thaddeus, uh, Jean-Claude, and Parsnip. Yes, that is their names. And so these guys, I don't even remember now which numbers they were. 33, 34, and 35? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, they're gonna be Alfonso, Minerva, and Consuelo. Yeah. I don't know. It was a is it weird that those are the first three names that popped into my head? I don't know. I was batting around names earlier, so whatever. Anyway, um, which way am I going? Uh, probably this way. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this way. Hippo's Lagoon. That sounds promising. Oh god, hippos. I'm so bad at platforming in this game, as evidenced by the fact that I just missed the first hippo. That's really bad. Don't mind me, hippos. I'm just jumping on your backs. It's totally legit. Okay. At least this one's nice enough to, like, go down. Oh, come on. No, no, no. No. Let me back on your back. Let me back on your back. There we go. Alright. Let's not miss this one. Ah! No, no, no! Didn't need to do that. I think that is the main reason why I'm not overly fond of this level. Um... Because actually, it's really not that bad. I didn't like it when I first... Ugh, no, get on here. I didn't like it when I first played the game because I got lost pretty easily. I had a really bad sense of direction. I generally do when it comes to anything. I get lost very easily or turned around very easily. That's bullcrap. But, um... On top of that, the platforming here. There's a lot of platforming, and I feel like this game doesn't have tight enough controls for platforming to be a serious element. Like, I don't know, Sora just controls kind of oddly. His jumping is a little strange, so it can be a bit of a pain. There we go. Good lord. 
Holy crap, more puppies! 25, 26, and 27. Um, crap. They need names too. I need to think of names. You guys should give me names to name the puppies. That would be totally cool. You should, you should do that, because I think I'm going to actually try to give them all names. Ooh, cutscene. Kerchak, please listen to me. I know the nesting grounds are secret, but I trust them. You see, I want to help them, because, because, well, they need us. Oh, did you get that? No! Kerchak! Kerchak! Denied. He seems sort of distracted by something. Is he looking toward the treehouse? I don't know. Well, let's find out. Ah, swing through the treetops. Basically, you can just use the little action commands down here to jump on vines, which... Pretty simple. Um, crap, I still need names for the puppies. Uh, we're going with generic ones for those three. They're gonna be Fred, Bob, and George. Yeah, they'll be normal names. You guys should definitely come up with some to give me. Or I can start naming them after people. I could name them after awesome friends of mine. That'd be oh my god, three more puppies! <laughs> okay, those three are gonna be named... Uh... Crap, who am I gonna name them after? Uh... Well, crap, I was gonna name one Lucky, but there's already one named Lucky. I don't even know which one that would be. Well, okay. Uh, number seven should be named Lucky, since that makes sense for Lucky 7DX. And, uh... Those three will be Bubba, Shots, and... Uh... Zenonia. Yeah. That works. Alright. There you go. Now all my friends are gonna have puppies. Named after them, that is. Okay, I felt like there was more treasure up here, but I think that's the only really important one. Let's just climb up these vines. So in other news, um, I am kind of getting over my bronchitis. I should sound a little better. I went through most of today without coughing too terribly much, and then of course as soon as I started to try recording, I started coughing again. Um, so that my voice started going out a little bit. But I should sound a little better than I did last time. Oh, there's another Trinity mark here. We'll have to remember that um, and come back for it. So, yeah. Uh, these flowers are wilted. And if you target them, or you don't even have to target them really, you can use magic. Pretty sure any kind of magic works, and you can make them bloom and they like sprout little green sparkles, which makes you think that they do something. But I'm pretty sure, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, please do. I always want to know stuff, everything, really. Um, but I don't think they do anything. I don't think they actually serve any kind of purpose. If you guys know of a purpose that they serve, uh, please let me know, because I really really don't see it. I even looked it up and I couldn't find anybody who had a legit answer for why they're there. No! Don't shoot Rosie O'Donnell! 